Reptiles have been around for over 200 million years, but that does not mean that they don't get sick from time to time. And sometimes I might have to send your reptile home with injectable medications. We always give injectable medications in the front limbs of the reptiles. The reason being that reptiles have a renal portal system. It's a fancy way of saying that it's possible if you give the injection in the back end of the body that the drug will go immediately to the kidneys and may actually cause harm to the reptiles. This phenomenon is not completely understood, but in order to prevent kidney toxicity, we always try to give the injections in the front limbs of the reptiles. If you have a snake that needs an injection, the same rule applies, but since snakes don't have limbs, we're gonna do it in what we call the cranial third of the body. What that means is from the head of the snake to one third of the way down its body, somewhere in the muscle along the spine. Ombre is a pretty nice iguana, but what I'm going to do is put a towel around him so that he can't scratch me or whip me with his tail while I'm giving his injection. You may need to have a second person help you to keep the tail steady while you do it so that you don't get hurt. And what we do is clean the area first with a little bit of alcohol where the injection is going to go. The forearm or the upper arm for the injection. And if there's multiple injections to give, you want to vary the site and also the limb if, if possible. Unfortunately, Ombre has a cast on his right arm, so we'll be using his left arm only. The needle goes between the scales so that you don't have to inject into a scale. So what I'm going to do is stick the needle in between scales through the skin and into the muscle. Once I'm inside, I'm pulling back on the plunger to make sure I'm not in a vessel, in other words a vein, and you check for blood in the hub of your syringe. Once you know that you're in the right place, then you go ahead and give the injection into the muscle. Once the injection is complete, you can put your finger there just to stop the liquid from coming back out again and hold with pressure for a few seconds. Whoa.